want one. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to Porsche Experience Center LA, a place that I've been to several times before, but never to drive the GT4 RS. And also, this is the first time that it's brought to you by Xbox. So they invited me here and they were like, hey, would you be interested in driving around the facilities? And then at the end of it, we'll deliver you a limited special edition Xbox for Porsche's 75th anniversary that has like a special livery painted on it. And I was like, yes, this sounds exactly up my alley. Please sign me up. So we're gonna be driving around today in the GT4 RS, which I'm actually really stoked about. I've wanted to drive this car, the GT3 RS next to it also looking pretty nice but i went for a drive a couple days ago with the with two people who had gt4 rs's and um now i get to drive one they were telling me a bunch of good things about it so it should be super fun and then after we're done driving we're gonna have the car pull up and i'll get to see the really cool hippie livery xbox so let's uh let's jump in i guess you ready so put the car in drive, actually knock it into the manual mode. I'm gonna have to put you in that first gear. It's sure. up with your speed. Continue to your left, and we're gonna go to the entry of the look at handling circuit. Start out nice and mellow, get a feel for the car, the seat position, the throttle feel. You can even try the brakes out, you know, we're not going too fast. So you don't want me to try losing any traction yet? Uh, not as of yet, but okay. I, I highly encourage it a little bit later on. Pick up a little bit more speed here. Let's see that driving line. So you don't need to move the hands too much there, right? I have short arms. <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely do. I'm gonna turn the electronic stability control off okay. and we're gonna practice some weight management. So you know about lift off oversteer and things like that. Um, I don't practice it too much. But okay, yeah. well, let's try it <laughs> Conceptually. Out. So you're gonna pick up more speed, more, 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 release the throttle. And there you have it, right? Yep. And that's kind of the beauty of Porsche is and how stiff the suspension is, is you can you know, get some lift off oversteer if you really want to. Um, but it does require a lot of momentum and speed. So right. go ahead and try it on this right hander. Pick up more speed, more lift, and let it slide a little bit. Nothing too crazy there, right? Oh, got it. Keep going. A little more. Yeah. <laughs> the lift, lift, max power. There you go. <laughs> nice job, dude. Get some speed in. Lift. Wait. Now back to power. There you go. <laughs> See, not too hard, right? No, not too bad. Yeah. It's it's like the it's the circles that become really, really like difficult for me to just keep it going. You know. What a great warm up, right? Fun time. So <laughs> I'll tell you what, we're, we'll turn all the traction control back on. Let's move on to the circle for a little bit of fun then. All right. Continue Sounds down good. to the right. All right, so this is your nemesis, as you put it on, right? That it is. Okay, is that the instructor or is that It the... is an instructor. Okay. Yeah, he's holding a full 90 degree uh, drift here. No, he's a pro. Try it out. Hug that line. A tight radius will help you break loose a little bit sooner, okay? <laughs> and keep it going on the line. So that was good. So I saw you were waiting to see that oversteer develop. Um, be a little bit more patient on the throttle. I'll help you with the timing. Okay. So go ahead and pick it up. Okay, let's keep it up. A little less, a little less, less, less. Better this time than it was yeah. last. All right, uh, 
mid-session update, I drifted a full circle, which I hadn't been able to do before. The coach, my coach, is he has all of the secrets. Lift off oversteer into the drift, and then add throttle. It's it's magic. We have more to do. So so far so good. Pretty awesome. The car is great too. It sounds amazing. Consecutive circles. Shoot it up! Well, at least I didn't spin. No, yeah. that's my. Let's get steering in. Lift. See, it's there. You just gotta yeah. be more patient. No! Okay, that doesn't count. That doesn't count. No, less, less. Less. Now go. Eyes on the line. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, that was, awesome. that was decent. That was decent. That was like a circle and a half. Yeah. Okay. We'll take it. Well, I'm glad I I was gonna be really bummed with myself that I crushed it on that 
first circle, and then I just couldn't do it. The second Me too. Time, so. Me too. I, I was I'm glad we got there. it back. All right. Try the, we got five minutes. Want to try the kick play or anything crazy? Sure, we can try the kick play. Yeah, let's go down. I want to see kick play because you actually have like really quick hands. Also, kick play has just been recently redone, so it's really hard. Okay. Uh, but your driving is really phenomenal, so I want to see if they can get it. Minimum speed, 20. Let's aim for that. Um, it's randomly left or right. Don't be afraid to use all the counters here. Right. But it is a reaction exercise, so you have to get it done immediately. All right. <laughs> Almost not enough. It was yeah. like just a little late. Nice job. Uh, you want to make it harder? Uh, just by going a little faster, you mean? We're going to turn the track control off. Oh, yeah. We're going to go faster. Let's go right. All right. 25. So 25. Crazy. Go ahead, Oh man. I mean, that makes you nervous of like, if you have to take evasive action in cold weather yes. on wet surface, you're just like, oh, I'm doing That's exactly <laughs> what it is. Scientifically, they're, they're saying this is hydroplaning at 70 miles an hour. Uh-huh. Right. Go for it. All right, I'll do 25 I'm again. I don't, think I'm, I don't think I'm ready for 30. Here, I just think <laughs> you just focus on the cones. Okay. You'll see the direction change right away. Release, here we go. Turn the wrong way, yeah. actually, at the beginning. It's like I was trying to uh, just anticipate. I think you did. <laughs> it bit you in the butt. Yeah. Okay, so we're at the end of our session. All right. I think we got to get back. Sounds good. This is kind of fun, dude. Thank you, thank you. Great, great times. And that's it. Ignition on the left. Cool. Uh, good times. <laughs> perfect. All right, so I finished up the session. I was able to hold drift circles in both directions for like a lap and a half. I think I even got two when we were going clockwise. So. I wasn't able to do that before. Actually, like doing the lift off oversteer drift initiation really helped versus previous sessions. So, shout out to that instruction. And um, now I, after, you know, they're gonna do other stuff with the car and then it's gonna come back around and deliver me the custom Porsche 75th anniversary Xbox. Vroom, vroom. All right, so uh, in between the drive and getting the Xbox, we're getting some food, and I've, I've been told that basically like the, the restaurant here, Restaurant 917, has like gone completely viral in the past couple of months because somebody on TikTok posted a thing of the, the butter. And so now they're getting booked, like they're booked out until November or something. Right now it's September. And this is, this is the butter. This is the viral butter. <laughs> now we're contributing as well. Now it's going to be potentially booked out even further from 9-11 shaped butter. Viral marketing at its finest. We are about to get our custom Porsche 75th anniversary Xbox delivered in the GT4 RF. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Obviously the Hippie Xbox is super cool, but I gotta be honest, it was actually a really difficult decision because there were five other Porsche Xbox liveries I could have chosen from, and they all look great, but in the end, I went for the Hippie Xbox. If you're wondering about the origins of the Hippie livery, it was run on a Porsche 917 LH, which ran at the 1970 Le Mans and got second place behind only another 917, which won the race overall. So pretty dominant performance, and I think it's a pretty striking livery. And it's even more of an honor to get one because there are not very many of these. They're not actually being sold. However, there is a sweepstakes going on right now. You can check the info in the description of the video and six people will win the Porsche Xbox Series X's. So check it out 
and good luck. This is the Porsche Hippie Livery Xbox. They didn't make too many of these. This is really cool. I can't wait to get this home. I don't know, do I play on it? Do I put it on display? I don't know what to do. What do you have? Do you have the console? Or do you have the car? They probably made less of the consoles than the car, honestly. Anyway, thanks to Porsche and Microsoft for sponsoring and making this happen. And uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go take this. As someone who's just had to go through a whole lot of boxes moving house, I think this may be a box that's actually worth keeping. So yeah, uh, we're all done here today. Thanks to Porsche Experience Center in Los Angeles and Xbox for hosting us. This has been pretty cool. If you're interested in checking out more, you know, link in the description. And uh, I guess that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna go bring this home.